Welcome, we're going to be having a look at the first test runs of the unit we've installed in this video. So here we are, uh, checked all the wiring and I've literally just connected the power back up to the fuse box. Um, as we can see the timer is displaying the correct function so all, so far all's good. We'll just have a quick wander around there and um, we'll see if she'll start up. All we need to do to initiate the uh, it's a start up is to press this bottom right button here. That's knocked it onto a one hour mode, so we should, within a few seconds, start to hear a little bit of click from the fuel bump. I'll be very impressed if this fires up for the first time, as the unit itself has got to prime the whole fuel system. Well. Sounds as that must be doing some pre checks. I'll shoot this in one take so we can at least get me panicking in real time. There we go. And prime, we can see the bubbles running through. You'll have to always have a few bubbles in there due to uh, some zero the fuel pump. There's a good article on the compass launch about this, so. You definitely smell diesel. So if it doesn't fire up soon, it'll um, it'll take it as a fail, and it'll shut itself down. And I'll just have to wait a few seconds to try again. It's most likely um, the fuel lines not not been primed. Yeah, that's it. That shut itself down. Yeah, never never fired up. So what we'll do? Most slightly. Just have to clear a code. Off we go. Oh no, it's not error to say. Um, oh, I'll have to do with this. Let's knock it off. Um, the fan will carry on to run for cool down purposes. So that'll uh, spin itself down. As soon as the fan stops, I'll hit go again. Um, and we'll, we'll see if it fires up for the second time. Around. So after about a minute or two, the fan had stopped spinning. Um, I hit the go button again. The unit started firing up and then after about a minute cut out and this is what happened. Stop for a second. Uh, this is the, got the diagnostic unit, so all I'm going to do is hold down the uh, the power button here, the start button, and it should give us a fault code if it's currently reading one. Number 11. Uh, from memory I believe that is a low voltage fault. Um, it could be the battery I'm using. Um, I accidentally left my thing on the other day is a um, is low so I'll get that sorted I'll just fire the engine up and uh, we'll, we'll start. So I fired up the engine um, which is now linked link the batteries together so she's cold so she's probably not like ticking over but we'll just give this a quick test so I've just tapped his button again and um, now the alternator should be picking up the slack from the battery um, and it should give us enough power. Unfortunately, it's going to be a bit more difficult to hear. But we can do this, so... Yep, yeah. our fan's spinning up. Yep, yeah, still spinning. We'll just check to see if the pump's initialised this time. Make sure we're not going to be in the To get hot air through the unit itself, I will. Uh, I'll do a fire up um, in a few in a minute. Of the unit running with um, out the engine on. I'm just gonna have to take it for a run just to charge that battery. I've charged the battery slightly. I just left the van running with a brick on the 
um, pedal for 20 minutes. The unit's just beginning to fire up now so we can hear the, the turbine noise. And I'm quite happy, but the, you can just, if we listen very carefully, hear a clicking in the distance. Very hard to make out, so that's kind of what I was looking for. Um, in turbo, which is what this is heading to the power setting, uh, the highest setting, um, it's quite a loud unit. Uh, once the seating's on top and it's boxed in a little bit, the sound will be a bit reduced. So, um, although it's quite noisy now, um, you don't tend to notice it. It's not not a major issue. Um, and with my unit, I with my timer, I have it come on at about. Um, seven in the morning sorry two in the morning just to reheat the van and um i tend to sleep through it now it sometimes wakes my girlfriend up who's not as used to the noise she just comes to visit while i'm away working but yeah definitely a uh, not a problem for me so i'm gonna leave it to get hot um, just check over the exhaust system uh make sure that nothing's setting on fire melting check that flash banding i've put around so I've just come outside the van, you can hear the, the clicking, and I'll just shut down the bonnet, we'll see, you can definitely hear it there. Coming around to the exhaust side, you can really hear the, uh, hear the unit in there. Um, I have shortened the pipe slightly here from what I had on before, so it may be a little bit noisier than I expected from my last van. Um, so then I've had the heater running for an hour now definitely sure all this worked good um, don't need to move any of these wires so I'm gonna start putting things back so in. I've got all of the footwell back together good as new you never realize that there's extra cables running in there now I've also got the timer secured in now and this back piece of trim on my temperature sensor is up there I'll probably do something more to hide it just a case of sorting the ducting out now and um, we're finished so thanks again for watching really appreciate the views be sure to check out part six where we have a look at the internal ducting um, there's also don't forget the companion video to go with um, this video series there's two of them part one and part two on the technical specifications for the installation um, with the testing every testing is different it's the errors that you'll get thrown up on your diagnostic and things, the troubleshooting that you might have to go through to get your unit running for the first time. Um, you may well just get lucky, you might just do a good job and it starts up first time, uh, but be prepared for something to happen and it's not the end of the world, provided it's wired up correctly. Um, it's not as though you should destroy your unit just from a leaky pipe or something daft like that. So yeah, any questions, drop me um, a message in the comments. And again, thank you very much for watching. Bye.